10. This amendment to the Income Tax Act, Mr. Speaker, is actually an amendment to emphasize and to re-emphasize the philosophical position of the government of St. Mr. Speaker. So we decided, Mr. Speaker, that we would exempt payments of $10,000 and less from the 10% reduction, Mr. Speaker. It's another move by the government to put more money in the pockets of the people of this country, Mr. Speaker. Nine. St. Lucia's farmers and manufacturers will be exempt from importation charges related to the health and security levy. To ensure that the manufacturing sector and the agriculture sector do not pay health and security levy on the imported raw material. To ensure that the manufacturing sector does not pay the health and security levy on the raw materials and the packaging material similar to the agriculture sector business. The cost of packaging products, raw materials and agricultural inputs will not attract the levy. To keep production and manufacturing costs down for suppliers and retail prices lowered for consumers. 8. The formal handing over ceremony of the fisheries facility in Soufre marked a significant moment as the government of St. Lucia and the Soufre Fishermen's Cooperative Society Limited signed a memorandum of understanding to provide a sustainable framework for the effective management of the Soufre facility. JICA has been promoting the involvement of communities and uh, fishers organization such as cooperative in the management of coastal and marine resources. I wish to express sincere thanks to the government and people of Japan for their immeasurable support towards the social and economic development of our beautiful country and look forward to a stronger cordial relation in the future. Seven, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre and Investment Minister Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire on behalf of the Government of St. Lucia signed a landmark development agreement with Global Port Holdings, GPH. And we have to find ways to allow you to, return, to make the return on, on your investment. But we also have to find ways to make the people benefit. There can be no agreement that doesn't involve the people of the country where the people will benefit. And I really thank you for understanding that. It's all locals. If we can't find the human resources local, we take it, we train them, and we bring them back. So that's our policy. Included also is the removal of the old customs building and a rationalization of that area, area there. Another exciting addition for me is the boardwalk that will be built from the Vendors Arcade to the San Susi Bridge. I think it would create a whole new added experience of cruise passengers. I want to say thank you to the chairman of GPH for agreeing to include Sufra in this project. I want to thank the Honorable Prime Minister for agreeing, because if he didn't agree, then the project would not have uh, taken place. For agreeing to include Port Sufra in this development. Six. A pre-bid meeting for the smart rehabilitation of the Canaries Wellness Center was held recently and provided potential bidders with an opportunity to gain a better understanding of the scope of work, details of the project, and requirements for submitting a bid. Canaries is the first wellness center that will be smarted under the project and we will move forward. There are 14 wellness centers to be smarted. So Canaries is the first and as we move on, we follow the similar process. Five. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre on August 8th tabled a resolution in the Parliament to transfer $5.4 million to finance refurbishment works and repairs to school plants around the island. Mr. Speaker, that comes in, light, in line with the educational support that we have given to schools this year and every member of parliament who um, got an allowance so could help in the educational education to buy education supplies for students going to the constituency and I stress every member of parliament Mr. Speaker, every member of parliament. Four. I have not 
have been happy with the mathematics results. And I know a lot of things have been done. I know that because I speak to my colleagues in the ministry. A lot of my ex-students teach, so I know the things that they have done. And so I came up with this idea. Why don't we have a mathematics cam? And for two weeks for students, one week for teachers, because I believe the teachers also need to get trained into best practices. The students themselves need to get that motivation to succeed and to address those problem areas and also rope in the parents. Three. Residents and environs of Crown Lands have been placed on firmer footing to not only access their homes, but to allow for easier access to medical and other essential services, as well as being able to realize their economic ambitions. People of Crown Lands have expressed, they have shown patience, they have waited. So today, it's, it's really to say thanks to the people of Crown Lands for waiting so long for something that is needed for anybody in St. Lucia. Two. So I am Steve Lewis, your friendly neighborhood Olympian. And every morning I have this affirmation I want to share with you. Every day I rise, I am energized with the strength and courage to accomplish all of my goals and the compassion and the willingness to inspire and to help others. One. The Ministry of Youth Development and Sports will observe Saturday, August 12, 2023 as International Youth Day as designated by the United Nations with a major celebration on the Derek Walker Square. Our youth will be showcasing their business ideas. You know, there are a number of entrepreneurs out there who don't get the opportunity to... to we're not given the exposure, I would say, to, to provide um, information of their businesses to the general public. And so we provide them that opportunity on that day. Also, they will be given the opportunity to showcase their talent in spoken word, song, and dance. And we have invited a number of well-known you know, performers 